USS Humley was a submarine tender of the United States Navy launched on September 28, 1961 and commissioned June 16, 1962. The Hunley was designed to tend most of the long-term requirements of the Polaris class of submarines. The ship achieved several records and milestones in its long service. The Hunley was decommissioned from the regular Navy, in 1995 transferred to the U.S. Maritime Commission, and in 2007 sold as scrap to a metal recycling company in Louisiana. In September 2008, during Hurricane Gustav, the decommissioned ship broke free of its moorings in the New Orleans inner harbor, but caused little or no damage while adrift. Design and construction, Hunley had the distinction of being the first ship designed and built from the keel up to service and maintain the U.S. Navy's nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine fleet. She had complete facilities for servicing the complex Polaris weapon systems and for accomplishing any submarine repair other than a major shipyard overhaul. The hull was laid down in by the Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company, Newport News, Virginia and sponsored by Mrs. J. Palmer Gaillard, wife of the mayor of Charleston, South Carolina. The ship was named in honor of Horace Lawson Hunley, the designer of the first submarine to sink an enemy vessel in naval history, the Confederate submarine H.L. Hunley. Career, with Captain Douglas and Siverson in command. Hunley sailed July 25, 1962 for shakedown training off Cuba until September 6, 1962. She visited several Gulf and Atlantic ports and returned to Norfolk September 28 for post-shakedown alterations until December 8, 1962. After which the Hunley paid a three-day visit to New York City to host the Naval Reserve Officers Seminar New Ships for the Modern Navy. She departed from the Norfolk Operating Base December 29, 1962 for Holy Lock, Scotland, arriving January 9, 1963. Almost immediately she began taking the load off USS Proteus, whom she officially relieved March 15, 1963 as tender to Submarine Squadron 14 at Holy Lock. This duty continued until April 12, 1964 when Hunley sailed for conversion that provided capability of handling the new A-3 Polaris missile. She resumed her duties at Holy Lock on June 15, 1964. A Polaris milestone was reached in December 1965 when USS Thomas A. Edison came alongside to commence the 100th refit of a nuclear ballistic submarine by the Hunley. This signified that 100 SSBN submarines had gone out on time from Hunley and not one of them had to make an early return from patrol. This represented some 200 months of Polaris on station or 16 or one half years of submerged strategic deterrence since Hunley's arrival in Holy Lock January 9, 1963. Hunley's motto was We Serve to Preserve Peace. Hunley returned to the United States late in 1966 and in 1967 operated out of Charleston, South Carolina. Hunley was decommissioned on September 30, 1994 and struck from the Naval Vessel Register on May 3, 1995 and turned over to the Maritime Commission on May 1, 1999. Hunley was subsequently sold to the Southern Scrap Materials Company on January 5, 2007 for scrapping. Advanced capabilities, among jobs carried out by Hunley was welding on SSBN pressure hulls or reactor plant fluid systems. Once unheard of in submarine tending, these jobs were only a few of many carried out by Hunley's crew. These and many other alterations were carried out as a matter of routine to keep SSBNs on the line with the newest possible technical improvements and safety devices. For example, an auxiliary sub-safe package was accomplished on the USS Theodore Roosevelt in which over 40 fittings and more than 100 feet of new piping and a major system were installed. A battery replacement for the USS Ethan Allen was completed in only 11 days. Hunley met demands from making waterborne propeller replacements to encapsulation of AC induction motors, delicate repairs to navigation and fire control, and many other varied tasks to ensure that each SSBN had the finest of care on each refit. Stowaway incident, after a 1973 port call in Sydney, en route to Pearl Harbor, two teenage girls from New Zealand were found hiding out in one of the Hunley's missile crane control cabs, when a sailor was spotted carrying food up the ladder to the crane. Hunley was diverted to Brisbane to offload the stowaways, 
and the helpful sailors were disciplined. References This article incorporates text from the Public Domain Dictionary of American Naval Fighting Ships. The entry can be found here. This article includes information collected from the Naval Vessel Register, which, as a U.S. government publication, is in the public domain. The entry can be found here. External links, USS Humley Reunion Info, MARADPMARS Data Sheet, Images, History and Tour at Southern Scrap, USS Humley at FLICKR.